All right, what I've got here is a decorative butt wrap that I'm working on. And what I have right now are five wraps of a metallic red, like kind of like a burgundy and gold. And there's three wraps of gold at the moment. And as you can see, that makes a really nice diamond wrap. Looks pretty good, pretty even. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do another diamond in the empty spaces. So I gotta get this set up. And you may recognize this, uh, this tool from my fly tying days. It's actually from my fly tying kit. And I have to just get this rolling right in the middle. You know, ideally you could measure this with a measuring tape, but after I've measured out the first one, I can pretty much eyeball the second one. I just gotta make sure my lines match up once I make the cross. And you can see this, uh, this tool really does make it pretty easy. And that's up around the tape. And now I gotta come back the other way and make my crosses line up right on the other one. You take a little bit more time on the first wrap and that'll let you have everything right so that you can go faster on the next ones. Because once everything's lined up, it's just continuing to follow along. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. See, it's, uh, it's, it's detail work and it does take a while. There we go. That's one wrap. And it's around, it's on the tape so that so the, the uh, thread won't come off. And I can cut that away, because that allows me to take my burnishing tool and make adjustments, because I wanna make sure, if you can see, I wanna make sure that this center of this rosette lines up with that center too. And so far, well, that one's a little bit low, so I'm gonna make a little adjustment there. Nice. That one's a little high. Same thing. Just trying to get those X's to line up and line up evenly. Now check the other side. And that's how you do it. And then from there, it's just adding on more lines on a you know a diamond wrap. There's all kinds of other wraps, and you've seen some of the ones 